Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Thursday. So we are, we're actually in front of Walmart because I'm getting food. I'm getting some Subway and there is a Subway inside of Walmart, but we are headed over to Publix to do our Publix haul for this week. So there are definitely some really good deals there. I'm not going to be grabbing all the deals just because some of the deals I don't personally want. Um, and the place that I donate to doesn't need it, but there are some really good deals that I will be picking up. We will be working with Ibotta and I do have a $5 weekend warrior bonus. It's for 15 offers. So I'm going to try to knock that out today. Um, we also got two new bonuses. I did post it on the community tab. So if you have your notifications that you all and not personalized, there's a good chance that you got that notification when I did post it this morning when I saw it. So we do have a $10 bonus and another bonus that unlocks, which I believe in the description of that new bonus it says five dollars back for ten offers so we've got a couple of different bonuses that we're working with that ten dollar bonus I need 42 offers to reach that so obviously we're not going to complete that in this haul but um, we are at least going to finish out our five dollar weekend warrior bonus so the different Ruby apps that we're going to be working with today we're going to be working with Ibotta of course so if you're not already signed up with that go ahead and check the description box and I will put my referral code right up here on the screen we're also going to be working with Fetch and Swagbucks and uh, I think that's it. I bought a Fetch and Swagbucks. So thank you. I want to pop up this comment here on the screen and I want to say thank you to this person for actually dropping this comment down below saying that the Swagbucks link wasn't working. So I went back and corrected it. I went back to a couple of previous um, videos late last night. I think probably like my last five or six videos and updated the link so if there's ever a link in the description box that is not working whether it's my referral link or whether it's a coupon or something like that let me know like down in the description box or down in the comment section go ahead and comment say hey Tiffany like this link isn't working for this coupon or this link or whatever whatever it is go ahead and let me know because sometimes like they'll update something on the website so then I need to copy and paste a new link or something like that there was also another comment I already responded to her but there was another comment asking me how I balance basically school and couponing so I am a college student I am full-time college student um, and a lot of my classes, I end up doing them either early, early in the morning, like before I do my, um, my couponing videos, I'll do early in the morning, do a couple of assignments, or I do a bulk of them on the weekend. So that way during the week, I don't have a lot to do. If I can't do all of them on the weekend, then I do some on the weekend. And then I do like here or there, I do some throughout the week, but nine times out of 10, I'm doing them at nighttime, like after eight o'clock after my kids are, you know, watching their one movie and then getting ready to go to sleep. So that's kind of how I have to balance it out. Sundays, um, I spend probably about half the day planning out my couponing haul for CVS. I spend half of it keep, um, prepping for that and then the other half actually setting everything up for my homework, going through what I need for the week, seeing what's the fastest, um, the fastest assignments for me to get through so I can go ahead and do those first. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, I do do school full time. I did school full time over the summertime. I'm doing it full time now for the fall semester as well. Um, I'm going to be um, looking for a job here pretty soon as well. So I'm going to still be going to school full time working and doing the couponing video. So um, yeah, it's going to be a whole process, but that's kind of how I do that. Um, I also don't sleep very well anyway, so I'll be up well into the night doing homework so that's kind of how I get through that um but enough about me let's go ahead and head to the store we're gonna pick up is gonna be on some vitamins so I'm gonna pick up one of the Flintstone gummies purse at six dollars and 99 cents and then I'm gonna pick up one of the one-a-days price at $9.99. In the Publix Extra Savings Flyer, we have a Publix coupon for $4 off too. On the Publix app, we have a $3 digital for the Flintstone. And then printable from coupons.com, I'm gonna use a $3 printable for the one-a-day. It's gonna be a better deal if you have another $3 printable for the Flintstone, because I don't. So I'm gonna be using uh, the $3 printable for the one-a-day. Then we're gonna submit to our bought our $3 back for the Flintstones, $3 back for the one-a-day. So it's gonna make it just 98 cents for both. It'll end up being free and a money maker for you if you just pick up two of the Flintstones and use uh, two coupons of three dollars 
Next, I'm gonna pick up this Oxy Total Care. So I'm gonna pick up the Clarifying Moisturizer and the Vitamin C Serum. They are priced at $7.99. We're gonna look for the dollar off one peelies on them. So we're gonna pay $6.99 in store. Submit to Ibotta. There are two separate $5 rebates on both of these. So after the peely and the rebate, it'll make it just $1.99 each and they'll count as two separate rebates. Next, I'm gonna pick up two of the Tampax tampons priced at $4.59. On the Publix app, we have to get the three off of two digital coupon. Then we'll submit to Ibotta for $3 back on each one. So it's going to make it just $0.18 cents for both. Plus, Tampax is a qualifying product for stocking spree. And if you haven't already gone onto the stocking spree website, you basically spend $50 worth of participating products. And when you go on the website, it'll let you know what is participating. And you'll get back a $10 Publix gift card. I have done it before. It works pretty well. I have never had an issue with any of my points tracking towards it. The Carbana in wash color grab is there. Buy one get one free at four dollars and nineteen cents. Inside of the cover of the box, there are dollar off one coupons. So go ahead and use two of those. So we'll pay two nineteen, but submit to I bought her for a dollar back on each, making it just nineteen cents for both. I literally wait till I get up to the cashier, then I let them see me open the box to take the coupon out, and then we go ahead and scan the item. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then you can just go ahead and buy them. Buy one get one free at four nineteen. Submit to I bought her for two dollars back. So you'd pay $2.19, but now you have two coupons for the next time you come in the store. The Carbana washing machine cleaner, they are also buy one get one free. They're priced at $3.29. You want to look for the 50 cent off one Peelys. Go ahead and use two of those. So we'll pay $2.29 in the store. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each. So it'll make it just 29 cents for both. Next, I'm going to pick up one of these one gallon Publix brand drinking water. So it's priced at 86 cents. I have three rebates attaching for 10 cents each. So it's going to make this just 56 cents. If you haven't already picked up your freebie of the Neon Zebra and you still have the digital coupon, make sure you go ahead and pick it up. So this next item is not on sale, but I'm picking it up because I have a swag buck rebate. So I'm going to pick up two of the White Castle chicken breast sliders for $5.07. Submit to swag bucks. We're going to get back $6 for purchasing two. And then submit to Ibotta for $0.50 cents back in each one, making it $3.14 for two. The Challenge Butters buy one get one free price at $2.69. We have $0.75 cents back on Ibotta for each one. So it's going to make it just $1.19 for two. So I saw this next deal on saving with Sarah's channel. So the Chobani probiotic beverages, they're buy one get one free at $3.79. You want to look for the $2 hang tags. It'll automatically make it free in a small money maker, but I scanned it on Ibotta and I have a 10 cent any juice rebate attaching, but I'm not going to count that because that is the same 10 cent any juice that's attaching to my water. But there is a 75 cents back on two Chobani that is attaching to this. That's going to make this free in a 96 cent money maker. Next, I'm going to pick up two of these Energizer batteries priced at $11.99. We're going to submit to Swagbucks and get back $30 back. Now, when you are on Swagbucks and you're looking at this rebate, you need to scroll down. There is a huge paragraph showing the qualifying items because you can also pick up this book light, which would be a bigger money maker because they're priced at $8.99. But I don't want to do that because I don't have a need for it. I would rather have the flashlight, especially with this being in Florida and there always being, you know, bad weather and stuff. So I would rather pick this up. So this is going to end up being a $6.02 money maker for me. Select Johnson & Johnson baby products there. Buy two, get $3 off. So the $3 will come off automatically at the register. So we're going to pick up two of the Johnson baby wipes. Price at $3.29. Once the $3 comes off, it's going to be $3.58 for two. You want to look for these blinkies right here. So this is not a manufacturer coupon. This is actually a Publix coupon. So you're going to use one of these. It'll take off $3. We're going to use a $1 digital coupon. And then we're going to submit to the coupons.com app for a dollar. So it's going to make these free in a 142 money maker. So I'm only picking up this Suave Body Wash that's on sale for $1.69 because on Fetch, on the promotion for spend 15, get a $5 Publix gift card for Unilever products, I am short $1.69 from getting my last $5 Publix gift card. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up, no coupons, and this should earn me my last $5 Publix gift card. So I'm not going to pick this up, but I did want to show you guys. So the Dial Body Wash, there, buy one, get one free at $4.99. I would really only do this deal if we had some kind of rebate, but if you can find the dollar off one Peelys that are on some of the product, you can go ahead and pick up two, use two of the Peelys. So you'd pay just $2.99 for two bottles of Dial Body Wash. 
There are also the bar soaps. They are also buy one get one free. If you can find the 50 cent peelies that are on some of the products, then you'd pay just $1.19 for two packs. Select Crest toothpaste are on sale two for four dollars. So I'm actually gonna pick up nine of these today. We have a six off of four digital coupon. We have a five off of three digital coupon and a three off of two digital coupon that should all come off. So we should pay just four dollars for nine of these, but Crest is a participating item on stocking spree. So we will get all of the points back on stocking spree for this item. Next, I'm gonna pick up one of the Barilla Ready Pasta. So they're $1.89. I'll submit to Ibotta for a dollar, making it just 89 cents. The last items I'm gonna pick up is gonna be on some Disney string cheese. So they are two for $7 this week. So we've got the SpongeBob, we've got the Frozen, and we also have the Paw Patrol. They're all two for seven. So we're gonna pick up two of each of them for $7. Submit to Swagbucks. So we have three separate rebates for $5 back when you purchase two for the Frozen, the SpongeBob, and the Paw Patrol. On Ibotta, we have 50 cents back for the Frozen only. So the Frozen string cheese will end up being two for a dollar, and then the SpongeBob and the Paw Patrol will end up being two for two dollars. All right, you guys, so we are back in the car from public so we're actually back home so we're going to go ahead and go over everything so everything before coupons was about 148 dollars and 52 cents we paid 99 dollars and 53 cents after coupons then submitting our receipt to fetch we got back 550 points which is about 50, 55 cents plus i got my last five dollar public gift card for picking up the unilever products submitted to swag bucks so the only things that went through automatically was the Paw Patrol cheese and the White Castle burgers. So we are still waiting on the Frozen, the um, SpongeBob, and the Energizer. That I had to submit her review, which I just knew that I was going to have to submit her review for something because it's swag bucks and that was a lot of money for them to give at one time. And there's always an issue when we have such a high value rebate that we're trying to get back from swag bucks. So once everything is submitted for review and gets uh, kicked back, um, we'll be getting back a total of $51 from swag bucks. Coupons.com, we're getting back a dollar for the Johnson's wipes. For my Ibotta, we're getting back $33.65, plus the $5 weekend warrior bonus, plus I'm getting back another $10 public gift card from Stocking Spree because the Tampax counted towards the $50 and so did all of the crests and I'd already been tracking towards those already so I'm going to get back another $10 public gift card. So that makes everything we picked up today free in a $6.67 money maker which is pretty awesome. There was I think two other deals that I wanted to pick up but I just kind of lost my um like it I lost my train of thought um while I was in the store. Plus, it was super hot. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but I am sweating right now. It's so hot. Um, yeah, but there were two other things that I want to pick up. I'll probably go back and get it tomorrow. They did have I bought a rebates attached to them, so I might include it in tomorrow's second I bought a haul. I'm not sure yet, but it still turned out to be a great um, haul for me today. I also wanted to let you guys know that for that um, pasta sauce that we got in our Ibotta haul, I think it was last week where I submitted for the $5 and the $3 back on Swipe Bucks. It came back today. They approved my $3 and they sent me an additional $1. So I got back $4 total for the pasta sauce that I had picked up from that deal. So go back and check out that video that I posted from last week that had that pasta sauce in there so you can see like how much it was, total out of pocket and everything. So I got back $9 total for picking up all three of those pasta sauce. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.